Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for clicking on this video. This is going to be uh, a continuation on the epic uh, survival slingshot. So we got our ferro rod in place. We're going to go ahead and make a spot for our ammunition. So stick with me. Alright, so we got it all done. I got my notches in, got a little pointed in at the top. We've got our ferret rod in place sitting right there, uh, slightly above the wood where I carved it in and placed it in that. As you can see there, I did that on purpose, that way I can get a nice uh, uh, strike right off of it, like that. Um, and then the way it's handled, obviously the way I would shoot it. And I got little points on top. And it right here to the side, that's where the ammunition is going to go. I can place the ammunition in there and show you guys what I'm talking about. I still have got to figure out a way to, to have it spring loaded. Alright, so you can see the spot right there for the ammunition. Uh, it sits right there flush with the handle. Uh, I do need to add a spring to it so I can have it spring loaded. Uh, but for the meantime, I can wrap this in with paracord. And I'll have a nice grip, and it'll be like maybe just for right now my uh, extra backup ammunition for there. Uh, so, yeah, there you guys go the ferro rod, and it's ready to get bands on. So, let's get to it. I am the beard talking, the magical, mystical beard. Yeah. This is a little bit harder with it being so narrow, but I will try to demonstrate with you guys what I'm talking about. So now that we got right to our little spot for where our ammunition sits, we're going to go ahead and set our extra ammunition right there inside the sling. Alright, so we got five in there. That should be good. I'm going to continue on wrapping. Alright, so you should have something that looks like this. Don't worry about how loose it is at the moment. We just kind of want it snug because I'm about to show you guys what's going to happen next. Alright, so remember that little loop I had? We're going to take the long end 
that we was wrapping with. And we're going to shove it through this hole. And we're going to kind of make like a knot. So, just like that. And then, we're going to take that short side, like this. And you see how it's kind of tightening down that knot? And we're just going to kind of keep prying it through because that's what's going to tighten it. I'm just kind of using my uh, fingernail here to, to help guide that knot through. We kind of want to go about up halfway just to make sure we don't have a nice comfort grip and it don't slip out on us. So as you can see here, the knot's gone up three strands. I'm going to pull that, pull it through even more. And push these strands back over the knot. So now we are at four strands. And we're going to pull it some more. Flip this knot over right here. Maybe this one too. Two for one special. Nope. Alright, there we go. There we go. And all right, so now that we got it wrapped, we're going to take our knife and we're going to just cut off this excess that we don't need, which I am using my more knife that this thing has seen better days. Fiddle focus. There we go. Save that, and some of this here on the bottom. There we go. All right, so our handle is wrapped. We got our nice little paracord handle right here that's holding in our extra ammunition. Uh, as you can see right here, we have our ferro rod tucked inside. So this thing is is pretty useful, I would say. Pretty pretty useful. Uh, we got extra paracord right here in case we need it. We got a ferro rod. We got some extra ammunition. And the last thing to do is put those bands on. All right, it is done. We have our band on. This thing is ready to destroy whatever gets in its way. So, let me set up some targets and let's see how she does. Survival slingshot. A little bit of bushcrafting, a little bit of survival, uh, yeah. Alright, so there's my target. I'm going to go back about 20 feet and we're going to shoot the slingshot see if it works. shot all right that was awesome I'm gonna try to get this again I'm about 20 feet away from uh, where I just shot it at I'm gonna hold back aim miss let's try that again
Bam! Bullseye right there. Awesome. It does work. That thing does pack a punch. That was... I barely had any kind of uh, draw onto that, so... I mean, that was just simple. I mean, I can go way farther. I need to stretch these bands out, too, a little bit more. But there you guys go. That is the Bushcraft Survival Multi-Purpose Slingshot. If you guys like what you saw, definitely like this video. Leave me a comment on what you want me to start making next out here in the woods. And share my videos out. That'd be nice. Leave a comment, like it, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, this is Tyler Wood Bushcraft. And this is my survival slingshot.